Welcome 4-H explorers to the glider workshop. Here's where Nicole and I prepare the gliders for their ocean missions at sea, where they can send data back to the cool room. You have a glider that looks like this that you're gonna prep for your mission. This is one of our gliders that Dave and I are gonna prep for our ocean mission. So let's talk about the parts. Up here in this forward section, we have the engine. This controls the movement of the glider. And this engine we call a buoyancy pump. It changes the glider's density, which basically means that it can change how the glider either sinks or floats in the water column. So we can go up and down. We also have a pitch mechanism here and that lets us, instead of sinking straight, flat, up and down, we can sink and float at an angle. So then if we put the wings on, the wings are right here, we snap those in and with the buoyancy pump and the pitch motor and the wings, that allows us to go forward and glide up and down in the water column, much like an airplane. As we're going up and down in the water column, we can use the rudder, which is located on the back of the tail here, to help us steer and make turns and move in the water column. Taking control of the glider is actually in the back, and we call it the brains or the computer. And built into the tail is a satellite phone where it can place a phone call anywhere on the globe. When it places that phone call, it calls the cool room and tells Nicole and I its GPS position, how it's doing, where it's going, and it also allows it to upload the data it's collected, and the data it's collected is built into the science bay here. Any instrument we can fit in here goes into the science bay, and that data is uploaded on the satellite phone call back to the cool room for scientists, technicians, and ocean models to use. This is the forward section, or the engine, the buoyancy pump of the glider. Right now, the piston is further back, so it's in sync mode. The glider has a higher density, and we're gonna test to make sure it's functioning properly and it can move that piston forward to create a lower density so that it'd be able to float. So you see that piston move forward, that is increasing the volume of the glider and thereby lowering its density. So Nicole and I are in the process of sealing the glider for its test dunk in our ballast tank. Uh, before we seal it, we have batteries. These batteries power the brains of the glider or the computer, which is right here. Next to the computer is a compass, which helps the glider navigate underwater. And next to the compass is actually a satellite phone. So built into the glider is a satellite phone, which allows it to call home. And then we have our science bay section where we put all of our instruments that we want for our particular mission. This glider has a CTD right down here, which measures temperature and salinity and depth in the ocean. All of our gliders have these sensors. We can also put things like this optical sensor into the glider to measure plants in the water and the particles in the water. We can also add things like dissolved oxygen sensors to measure the oxygen concentration of the water. And we can even add a whole other suite of sensors such as this um, fish tag receiver, which allows the glider to listen for tagged fish. So we can't forget, but before we seal the glider, we can't forget our ballast. Just like your gliders, we use steel shot for ours, and we have to put this ballast inside the glider so that our density is right for our next mission. Mm -hmm.